Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a song by the band Skid Row. The song is Wasted Time. Skid Row was a band that came out of the 80s and uh, survived into the 90s in the middle of the, uh, the entire Seattle, Nirvana changeover of uh, music that happened around that time. They were still putting out um, hit records and good records uh, well into 94, I'm pretty sure. Um, one of these songs, this song is, uh, this song is from the later period, one of the later records. Um, Skid Row was out of New, New Jersey. They were friends with uh, the guys in Bon Jovi. In fact, uh, Snake Sabo, the guitarist from Skid Row, was actually a member of Bon Jovi for, uh, for a little while before uh, they brought in um, Richie Sambora. Uh, and the, the guys in Bon Jovi sort of managed and uh, helped and aided them in their career, had them open uh, for Bon Jovi for a while, and actually had some um, songwriting credits, which they eventually worked that out um, later on as they uh, as they got bigger. Um, Snake had the band pretty much together up until the point where they needed a singer. They eventually brought in uh, Sebastian Bierk, uh, a.k.a. Bach, from uh, Canada, who had been in the band Madame X with Roxy Petrucci. Um, Roxy is now with the band... Um, Vixen and on tour. Uh, she's been with them for decades off and on. Um, in fact, I happen to know their lead singer from work. I used to do graphics for a t-shirt company and uh, one of our clients was Lorraine Lewis who was the lead singer of Vixen. So that's sort of a weird thing. You meet a lot of different people when you live in LA who uh, are connected to bands or in bands. Uh, I've even met members of Winger at the photo store trying to get pictures developed. It's pretty, pretty strange. Um, anyway, Skid Row uh, wrote this song about uh, a friend of theirs who was uh, the drummer for this band, the Guns N' Roses. His name is Steven Adler. Steven had developed quite a drug problem. He had such a problem. It was, it was a problem even for Guns N' Roses. I mean, uh, GNR had things going on so heavy that uh, when when Nikki Six overdosed famously and, and died uh, and had an EMT jam two uh, needles of adrenaline into his heart, which sponsored the song, or which created the song Kickstart My Heart. Um, Slash was there in the room. Slash from Guns N' Roses was there when Nikki OD. They were partying together. They were all, it was all part of the same group of people, they all hung up together, they all did the same stuff, they drank together, whatever. So, Stephen was so far gone. I even saw Guns N' Roses uh, once, it, it was a, they were opening with Living Color at the L LA Coliseum, and from the stage, Axel was complaining that one of us is doing a little bit too much Mr. Brownstone. And he was talking about Stephen. So this song is about Stephen and the loss of the version of him that was there originally. He basically became a different person. Um, and I've seen him on celebrity celebrity rehab, trying to get back his life back together. And he has recovered and come back together in a large, large way. Good, good for good for him. Um, the song is wasted time. <laughs> In the name of desperation 
right, for copyright reasons, that's only a short version of the song. Uh, if you want to hear the whole song, it's going to be available on my Patreon at patreon.com slash Vian Makes Music. Uh, you can go there and help select uh, what song we're going to do next. We're going to have polls up to uh, let you choose which song uh, I'm going to cover. Um, we'll also we go down in the comments and you can... Uh, Put your selection of what song you'd like to see go on the poll next. And also, also there's uh, original songs there uh, from the various bands I've been in. Uh, some guitar nonsense like, you know, you heard. Uh, and there's going to be a lot more features. So don't forget to like, subscribe, um, join the Patreon if you like. Uh, and hope to see you soon.